Hi everybody, welcome back to my Fleetel Finds. So I'm back here with my good friend Heidi and I'm going to continue going through some of the trays of jewelry that I had purchased. Um, this tray is filled with Safaret jewelry and some other jewelry from the 1920s um, and a piece of uh, Scandinavian silver by by a well-known designer, George Jensen. So let me first describe a little bit about the Safaret jewelry. And so this is the Safaret jewelry. This is the Safaret jewelry. Um, this is, these are, so let me start by showing you this piece, which looks like it's made by a company called Shriner. Now it's not signed, but it has the look of a Shriner piece and Shriner did not sign all of their pieces as far as I know, but this glass is Safaret glass. And Safaret glass was made in Gablon's uh, Czechoslovakia in the mid 1800s by melting melted gold into sapphire colored glass. The result was a glass which looked like brick red or brown, but reflected a bluish tone on the surface. So I hope you can all see that. Um, because they're, but they are glass, um, and they're not very often found in precious findings. The glass, here's another example, and this piece is made by Regency probably in the 1950s, I would say. And again, there's that brick red and blue. Um, the glass was stopped shortly after the, the turn of the century because it was no longer cost effective because gold had increased in value. So most Safaret pieces, or many, I would say, are of the Victorian, Edwardian, or arts and crafts period. But you definitely see them in Art Deco. So. I'm going to show you, like, here's would to me be an example of Art Deco. This is Safaret glass. These are all Safaret glass beads. And you see that lovely blue um, hue that comes from these wonderful faceted beads. And this one is graduated in size and really nice. And then here is another example of what I believe to be Safaret. Um, yeah, there is that blue hue to it and the brick red and this one is so interesting. I mean, this actually looks like it could be fine jewelry. It's a butterfly, um, 1930s, would you say, Heidi? Maybe. I, I wasn't sure if it was Victorian or not, but it could be. Right. I was thinking, right, so the, the, um hinge, I mean the um, clasp, looks sort of like Victorian, but it's sort of hard to say. Um, but a really lovely, uh, fine looking piece of jewelry. Then here is another very unique example uh, that happened to be in this group of Safaret jewelry. What makes this so unique is the fact that it's um, that the Safarets are embellishing this wonderful uh, circular rhinestone piece. And look at how that sparkles and that's the back of it. And so this piece would go sort of like this, or you could wear it like this. And just another wonderful example of Safaret jewelry. And then there is this set. I mean, this is just magnificent to get this many stones of this caliber um, into a set like this. So it's a necklace and bracelet, and this would be a demi perore. And the back, that's the back of it. And it is signed, um, I think it says Austria. Um, but just look at that. It's almost, it's almost fantasy-like. And then here is one of the stones came out, so I'm just going to replace it when I'm done. But again, magnificent. I mean, they just literally don't make pieces like this today. And there's the back of it. And then here is a necklace. So it's missing a few of the little um, stones, but it's just so rare and so unique and wonderful again and fantasy-like. And then I was going to show you just a 
few more pieces of this, my sterling silver. Here's a, an adorable filled with uh, marcasites, cut iron pyrite uh, mm, frog it's pin. It's marked France too. Oh, honest. it's marked France. Yeah. Wow, that is just lovely. It almost seems like he's going to jump up <laughs> and out of the tray. <laughs> and um, here is a wonderful, um, again, deco um, sterling and marcasite enameled, wonderful enameled. A flamingo pin and it's hallmarked and these were bought as um, souvenirs from uh, going on vacation just a very very popular motif of the time and also the 50s and then here's another example of the sterling and marcasite jewelry and this is would you say this is chrysoprase and again, very sort of deco looking with the sugar loaf um, piece uh, cabochons and just very appealing. And then here's, these are carnelian and sterling again with the marcasites. And here is a ring with onyx. So a lot of this deco jewelry you would see with, with um, carnelian, um, onyx, you would see Mother of Pearl, um, the Chrysoprase, very popular recurring uh, themes. And then finally, this is a George, George Jensen piece. And he was a Scandinavian designer, quite prolific. His pieces are rare and highly collectible. And this is just a wonderful example of one of his pieces of jewelry. Well, I hope you've enjoyed going through this tray with um, Heidi and myself, and you've learned a little bit about this type of jewelry, and we look forward to seeing you back with our next group of Fleetel finds. Bye.